Okay, so today we're going to talk about lesson uh, 4.3 in our pre-calculus book, and we're going to talk specifically um, about example one, which deals with multiplicity. And multiplicity is a connection between the zeros of a polynomial and how the graph um, looks in that situation. Here we have our proper definition is here, but let's just kind of talk about what it is. That here we have a function, a graph over here, and it has zeros of negative 3, negative 1, and 1. They're represented here, so we see negative 3, negative 1, and 1. And the graph of that is represented here by this function, x plus 3 quantity squared plus x plus 1 times x minus 1 quantity cubed. So we made a little chart here that talks about the zero. Here's the zeros, negative 3, negative 1, and 1 again. And here it talks about the multiplicity. So the multiplicity is represented by the powers of each factor. So you notice that here we have a power of 2 for the factor of x plus 3. The power here is 1 for x plus 1, and the power here is 3 for x minus 1. So the degree of each factor tells us what the multiplicity of each factor is. And notice over here then how they look. Here we have a degree of 2 for this one, and it looks like a quadratic function. Right? It behaves like that. Here we have degree 1, and it behaves like a linear function. just goes right through the graph. And here, this one has degree 3, so it bends when it goes through the x-axis. So the multiplicity, if it's even, it's always going to look like this. going to touch the graph. If it's odd and degree 1, it's going to go through the graph. And if it's odd degree greater than 1, it's going to bend when it goes through the graph. So here they talk about it down here a little bit more. If it, k is odd, that's the multiplicity. The graph of f crosses the x-axis. And if it's even, then it touches it but does not cross it. All right, so here we have an example down here that we're going to look at. Here we have x plus 1 quantity squared times x minus 2 times x minus 3 raised to the third power. So what we're going to do is we're going to list the zeros first of all. And so we've got um, zeros are at negative 1, at positive 2, and at positive 3. And so we're going to tell what the graph does. And so the graph then has here at the 1, since it has a degree of 2, that means the multiplicity is 2, and for the graph, it's just going to touch the graph. And for 2, it has a degree 1 here, because if there's nothing there, that's a 1. So that is multiplicity 1, and this is going to go through or across the graph. And at positive 3, it's raised to the third power here, so that means it has multiplicity of 3. And that means it's going to bend when it goes through the x-axis. And the one thing is here, if you look at the multiplicity, Multiplicity here, if I add all those together, they are 6, because that's what the degree of this whole function would be. And so that is multiplicity. 